In today's video, we will look at how we can automate XLOOKUP using VBA. So we do not have to write the formula from scratch each time we need to look up the price. The file I have open is the customer data, but it's missing the unit price, which lives inside of another Excel file called prices data only. Let me open it up. Okay, so this file only has the prices and a key column. We will look these up using the key column. So first let's create an XLOOKUP formula and then convert it into a VBA based. XLOOKUP takes in first argument as value to lookup, so our value to lookup will be key column. Second argument is what column or range to lookup. Our column or range to lookup is the column A. The return range will be column B, which is the unit price. Close the formula. And here we have our formula. Notice that the XLOOKUP formula right now does not note the full file location. It just right now gives the file name, which is price data only. And it does not show the full file location. This happens because file is currently open. Let me close the file. And as soon as I close the price file, we can see that the XLOOKUP formula now updates and adds full file path into the formula. This is the file location we need. Now let's open up the macros window from developer tab and insert a new macro. You can either store the macro in your personal macro workbook or you will need to have this file saved as an XLSM file, which I have right here. Go into insert, click on module. Let's give it a good name. So we will call it XLOOKUP VBA and start writing our code. So we will need to start breaking down this formula to chunks for easy manipulation. So let's add the formula here for quick reference. Right off the bat, we can see that the cell E2 is hard coded. This is the lookup value. For example, in this cell, in this formula, the E2 is a lookup value. We will need to make it dynamic. We can do that by hard coding column E, but keeping row dynamic using active cell .crow. Second improvement we can do is save the location of file in its own variable. So you can see here from here onwards, sheet one is the same in this in the first argument and it's same in the second argument as well so it means we can save it in a new location variable so let's start doing that so for the e2 we will say dynamic cell reference put it equals to e and active cell dot so for example what it's going to do is it will select column e and then whatever the actual active row right now is it will take in the row number and then add it with the e for example if we are here right now then this will become e5 we can test it as well so let's step into the code keep in mind we have row 5 selected so let me step into the code we do that by using f8 or you can select it from here and you can see dynamic cell reference right now is e5 which is correct now let's copy and paste the location to a new variable so let's say location and it will store from here till here actually we'll need to include the comma as well so that will save us a bit of time okay we have our two variables so far so good let's start combining different portions into one variable named final formula so let's type it here final formula equals first thing we'll do is we'll separate the xlookup then we will add an ampersand next value we have is e2 this will get replaced with dynamic cell reference so we have our formula till e2 next keep in mind that we had this location here which we saved in file location variable so we had an ampersand here add it here next thing we have is this lookup location which is a to a so we add it here as well all of this will be done with an ampersand that will effectively act as a concatenate between these different variables or string values so we have our formula till here a through a next we have is again the location so let's add the location again and the last thing we have is the return column which is b through b so let's add that as well. Seems like there's some syntax error. So let's try to work through it. Okay, we have an and missing here and this should be good now. So let's comment this out. We will say active cell dot formula equals and this will be equals to final formula. Before we actually run it, let's test the final formula by doing debug dot print. See what the formula is and if it's similar to our formula in the reference variable. So let's do that. So let's run it. And this is a formula it created. Let me just copy and paste this and put this equals to this. So we can see if it's the same or there's some differences. Okay, we can just ignore the syntax error for now. And you can see it is exactly same as the reference formula, which means that we have successfully created a dynamic formula using VBA. So let's test the formula. Keep in mind to select the cell you want formula pasted in. So I'm going to select the cell f6 from macros select the macro click on run and there you have it boom our lookup works if i press f2 we can see that we have the correct lookup value and we have the correct formula as well and now we don't have to write the whole formula each time doing the same thing over and over again another improvement we can add is to add an input box where each time it will ask you for a cell reference in case your key column is in another sheet or someplace else so let's do that i'm going to go back to the vba screen in here i'm just going to add an input box which will ask me for a cell reference each time so let's call it row underscore num it will be equal to input box and we will say enter cell reference in our code we will just replace the dynamic reference with row underscore num 
So let me copy and paste this, make this a comment and we replace this with row num. Keep in mind that we will have to copy and paste this down because this needs to be after the input box. So this will go here. Now let's run the code again. So I'm going to select a different row. So let's select F10, run this. And we have our input box, which says enter cell reference. Our lookup reference is the lookup value, which is E10. So let's add it, click on enter. And we successfully created a dynamic lookup formula, which you can now put in your personal macro workbook and use anywhere. If you press F2, we can see we still have the correct result. Let's test it by adding this in, an, in another sheet. So let me copy and paste this value. So I'm just gonna copy this value, paste this here. And now let's run this again, just to double check if it's still dynamic. Okay, now our reference lookup value will be G12. So you can see G and 12. Press on enter and boom, the value is still correct. You can put this in your personal macro workbook and then you are able to use it anywhere. This wraps up the video. I hope you had fun and learned something new. Till next time, happy coding.